Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another pick a card reading which is going to be divine messages that you need to hear right now. I have pulled out oracle cards in this reading, color cards as well and then I have pulled out two uh, tarot cards as well to see additional guidance around you know whatever it is that you need to hear right now so you could have a vicious fulfilled life and work on the things that you need to work on. Um, so I hope with these divine messages you are going to um, figure out what what needs to be done in the current circumstances that you are having in your life and different areas of your life as well so yeah i have two piles here yellow pile pink pile pick whichever pile you want to choose to see your divine messages you can always pick to both the piles in such reading because you will be getting a lot of guidance in these readings are uh, in this reading uh in particular so you can choose both the cards if you want to see for yourself or you can you know choose different set of cards for different situation or different um areas of your life as well if you want to or you can just go uh, go through both the piles as well to see guidance coming up for you from the divine through me through these cards as well so yeah um before i dive into the reading let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings i'm going to start the reading with the yellow pile so let's see for the people who are choosing the yellow pile Let's see what is the divine messages that you need to hear right now so you could have a vicious fulfilled life. I'm going to start with the tarot first. Let's see what do you need to do maybe in your current circumstances. Let's see. Four of Pentacles and the hair Fund. <clears throat> You are holding on to something so tightly. You really need to release that, you know, um, and have faith. Whatever it is, a relationship, uh, uh, a hope around something. Um, you, you might have been thinking a lot or heavily about a situation, be that in love life, work life, home life situation. You are maybe concerned around it a bit too heavily that you are not letting that thought out of your mind. You really need to release that. Let it happen. Let it go. Let it out of your mind. Relax yourself. Maybe you are conflicted or you, maybe you are because of your overthinking obsession around this one situation, one thought. You are getting confused. Your heart is saying another thing. Your mind is telling you to do another thing. Now, as you release it, as you just surrender it to the God that you believe in, you will find a beautiful path forward towards whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you are, you know, uh, so obsessed with. Uh, but yes, you really need to believe in the God that you have uh, or the God that you believe in. And you really need to believe that, okay, fine, I, you know, just make a prayer to your God, whatever God that you believe in, make a prayer to that God that I am letting my, this wish to, uh, you know, uh, in your hands, I'm surrendering this wish to you so you could show me the right path forward, which can, you know, which will be the easiest, most and the beautiful, most path forward to follow for you in the current circumstances it will guide you it will guide you and you just have to have a firm faith around it you just have to believe that the guidance is coming the universe is taking you towards the right path forward you just need to relax you are you know holding on to something so tightly the moment you release it the moment you allow it the moment you have a faith that yes it is going to happen and you just need to relax the more you flap your wings to make it happen the more you're going to stuck yourself in a situation which is not going to go anywhere the more you relax, the more you receive messages coming from the divine, the more you focus on something else, which is happy, fun and, uh, you know, loving, the more you, uh, you are in that vibe where you will receive the messages coming from the God as well. You could also visit your church, uh, you know, mosque, uh, Gurdwara or uh, where every church, you know, with, with Mandir, uh, whatever is your, your spiritual place your religious place you can you can do that as well or you could simply meditate if you don't want to go to any places you could simply meditate every night every day uh make it a habit or make it a ritual before you fall asleep you have to connect yourself to the god that you believe in seek guidance and start off the day with the same uh you know prayer that guide me god or whatever it is that you want to say to your god pour your heart out to you know in front of your god and just let your God take care of everything that you desire. It will guide you. It will, you know, um, 
it will help you through for sure let's see what the other cards has to add to the reading affirmations will help if you whatever it is that you're wanting and wishing for you know for right now and which you are you know very obsessed with maybe there is an outcome that you're looking forward to coming out of a situation if you make some affirmations around it and uh, you know uh, repeat that over and over again that too will lead you towards the right path forward you can use affirmations to uh you know um clear this this there, there is this you know uh, uh, you just want it so bad there is this neediness coming in this uh, you know energy of yours that you really need to release you really have to have relaxation calmness from within where you have that you know let me give you an example suppose you really wish to get married to a specific someone that you like that um and you really need that now if I tell you that you are getting married to that person tomorrow how would you feel you would just relax you would get excited you would get happy so that's the vibe that you need to be in to attract that in your life to to align yourself in the on the receiving end to receive that abundance you really have to be in that mode where you are feeling the excitement that yes it is coming and if I say it's never gonna happen what's gonna do what what you're gonna do you might cry you might just you know get even more obsessed with it you just need to relax around it. you just need to have a firm faith believe that it is happening the god is showing you the right path forward that's you know or maybe all your wishes are coming true you know make some affirmations around it or you can always purchase mine if you want but you can always make some certain affirmations which which could be regarding your situation whatever it is that you're holding on to so tightly and you're not letting it go maybe it, it, it might be hurting you right now even holding on to that is hurting you maybe walking away from it or having a firm faith and moving on thinking that one day everything is going to fall into place and you will get what you want leaving it or surrendering it to your god is going to help you a lot to to relax the yourself to release the tension that you are carrying right now and it is something that only you can do to you uh, for yourself nobody else will do it for you just relax and have firm faith around it affirmations will help you time to clear your energies it's time for you to relax clear your energies protect yourself and your connection uh, for some of you you really need to protect your connection and yourself as well well uh, for some of you maybe um, if your if your love life is doing perfectly fine if your work life is doing perfectly fine the universe is asking you to protect yourself and the connections that you have at work front and in your love life as well why there could be somebody in your life who could be uh, you know not having the positive intentions for you so maybe you need to protect yourself use the protection uh, you know things to, to protect your connection if you need uh, my service to protect your connection or you know anything you can always reach out to me for that as well uh but yeah let's see other cards now uh step out of your comfort zone um for some of you you really need to you know you really need to uh, start taking actions towards what you want what you desire you know maybe you have been thinking a lot or heavily about certain situations but you have not been taking the right actions towards it now again when you meditate when you get connected to your god or the spirit guys you will you will find a way out of it and you have to take inspired actions towards whatever it is the universe asks you or guide you to take action for maybe it's not going to be an easy step to take the first step but once you take that first step everything is going to start falling into place for you nothing will come out of the situation if you continue holding on to, holding on to it so tightly it's not going to happen the more you get obsessed the more you block the energies you really need to clear your energies as this card suggested so just allow things to happen don't get worried around you know, any situation have a firm faith that everything is going to be happening for you peace comes from remembering that only love is real the more you you know either you feed your uh, faith or either you feed your fear if you feed your fear you are going to stay stuck if you feed your your faith you will have the peace that you need right now in this situation to move forward in the right direction if you are you know if you find peace through you know meditation through affirmations through believing in god or believing in whatever it is that you want you will have that peace which is going to um you know um bring you all the signs that you need right now so you would be you know thinking all the positive thoughts you will be you know seeing the you know possibilities and everything to work in your favor if you stay in this situation you will have a lot of fears triggering more fears and triggering more negative thoughts which is going to keep you blocked so make sure you are not doing that because that could be the only block that you are having in your life right now maybe you need to clear yourself from that energy spiritual understanding i am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual 
truths. For some of you, maybe, maybe the God has been trying to reach out to you through different messages, through different symbols, signs. You know, maybe you are hearing some voices in the dreams. Maybe you have been seeing some numbers, repetitive uh, names. The universe has been trying to guide you through, but you have been kind of unable to receive those messages because you are too obsessed with something. The moment you release it, the universe is going to start giving you the signs that you need right now in this current situation. So be receptive to those signs. Um, perfection. Whatever it is that you desire, you can have perfectly that. But again, if you connect yourself to the God that you believe in. Completion. For some of you, um, For some of you, you might be in a cycle that you really need to break free from. And you break free from it as you allow it to go, as you allow it to, um, you know, um, control you. You can complete this cycle. It could have been a karmic cycle for some of you. But whatever it is, you really need to come out of it with flying colors. You really have to have a faith connection with the God that you believe in. Become spiritual person. Where you, where you do good for others and be good to yourself as well. It all starts from within you. You really need to understand that. Um, I feel like you know there is going to be an ending of some kind in your life right now, which, which is going to help you understand the truths of life for sure. And it is definitely going to make you um, a better person. Plus, it is going to evolve you in one way or the other. Maybe your perception around love relationships will change. Your perception around, you know, the way you deal with your friends and family will change. Something is going to happen. Something is going to bring you awareness towards how you should be dealing yourself maybe and the life as well. Uh, let's see which two colors could be lucky for you in this time. Coral, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. Number 18, the, the things that you want, the things that you desire, maybe you are not aligned to get that. Now, again, if you're fearful, you're not aligned with that thought or that desire of yours like you know if i want to um if you if i want to um if i want to uh you know have something in my life my actions should be aligned with that one thought one goal that i want to receive i want to have or i want to achieve maybe again you are unable to pick up the signs because you are so blocked right now your energy chakras are blocked right now you need to clear that out as well now Coral stone, if you are into gems and stone, you can wear coral stone as well to allow, you know, that, you, you know, yourself into uh, that, that synchronicity uh, where you would be able to have whatever it is that you're wanting because you will be getting aligned by, you know, it's not going to happen in a day or two. It will take some time. So if you could wear that stone, you could do that as well. It is going to help you align and have or see the synchronicities in your life where you would be able to connect all the dots, which is going to lead you towards what you have asked for. Ruby, rejuvenate your body number eight. It's time for you to have some personal growth. Um, again, as you allow things to happen, as you allow things to unfold on its own without obsessing around it, you will become a different you where you are, you know, you would experience some sort of expansion from within you, which is very needed right now. Uh, for some of you, it's very important for you to start taking care of your body as well. Um, for those of you who have been trying to conceive and you have been, uh, you know, uh, unsuccessful in that, start wearing ruby stone because it does help you conceive very quick uh, other than the medications that you use you can always wear the ruby stone if you want to uh, conceive a baby as well or if you're a person you know maybe if you're a male watching it and if you really want your person to conceive maybe you can uh, start wearing your you can ask your person to start wearing the ruby stone as well it is going to allow um, or speed up the 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 process for that as well so yeah this is just coming up for the people who chose file yellow if the reading resonates with you or if it helped you in one way or the other do like share and subscribe to my channel so yeah uh till i do the next training for you guys take care bye bye let's move on to the pink pile let's see for the people who chose pink pile let's see what is the uh oracle guidance for you and let's begin with the tarot first and then we're going to take the other cards let's see what these cards suggest ten of swords <sighs> what is it that's hurting you so bad right now what is it that's toxic right now what is it that makes you feel like you know you are dead and tired of it whatever it is you really need to put an end to that you really have to walk away from it a relationship job if you feel like your job is becoming toxic it, it hurts you it you know it it um uh you know if you have some people around you which which make you feel like you know maybe you are with the wrong you know set of people and you you don't know what to do with them you really need to put an end to that 
anything and everything that is making you feel like um, your life is a miserable thing. You really have to cut that thing out. Love life situation, work life situation, home life situation, something needs to end. Maybe maybe you have been uh, trying your best to walk free from something uh, or walk out of something. It's high time. The universe is asking you to put an end to that. You have been suffering because you were not letting things go um, or trying, you know, you really have to put your guards up against anything which, which makes you feel bad, which makes you feel... Uh, uh, used which makes you which which drains you emotionally mentally physically it's high time that you end that one thing because you have hurt a lot but you allowed other people to hurt you it's your mistake you didn't have your guards up so you really have to now from now onwards make it a rule that you have your guards up against anything and everything um that you know gives you you know you really have to stand tall for yourself for what you believe in Put an end to anything which goes, you know, against that. Let's see what's the card death. It's time for you to basically, um, you might be having some, you know, hard times uh, right now in your life. And if that's happening, allow it to happen. Try to learn the lesson from it. Because this this ending, whatever it is that is ending for you right now, it's, it's going to bring you um, to a new life opening up to you to a new you basically it's going to evolve you it's going to transform you it's a very transformative time that you are going through right now in your life if something is ending in your love life that's going to transform you and your belief regarding love life as well if it is a situation that you have been carrying the burden of you really have to put the burden down now you really have to put it put it put an end to that situation and then allow something beautiful to start for you. A new cycle is coming up for you, for for majority of you. It's time for you to release the past and move into, you know, the future with positive mindset. Um, whatever has happened, try to learn from that. Uh, whatever didn't work for you, it's okay. You got hurt, you got, you know, uh, it, it, it does hurt you a lot. That's perfectly fine. Move on. Know your worth. Know that where you did things wrong and try to learn from that experience and move on with a positive mindset, with a with the belief that you can have something better. And now you should be, uh, you know, putting your guards up against anything or everything that makes you feel bad, um, you know, uh, unworthy of for love, unworthy of for happiness, unworthy of anything good. So just try to understand that. Uh, let's see what the other messages are. Be yourself, you, uh, you are you. You really don't have to settle in for less than what you want, what you believe in, and uh, be yourself. Don't, um, maybe for some of you, you have, uh, you, you try to be somebody else. And, you know, just to please people. Maybe you, you try to be, a, you know, certain you, which you were never. And the universe is asking you to be yourself because nobody can be you. If you have been a certain way and you you uh, you change yourself just to attract a person in your life, maybe maybe that's that's that person wasn't meant for you. So you don't have to change yourself for anybody. The right person will love you the way you are. You need to understand that. You shall not tell yourself that maybe you are not worthy of that person. No, like I said, you are worthy of love. You are worthy of whatever it is that you desire. It's just that maybe you were with the wrong person. Again, try to learn the lesson from that you know, whatever that has happened and try to um, value yourself more. Don't blame yourself for the for the failure in any connection that you have in any area of your life. Just be careful with that. Um, then we do have believe in your prayers. It's very important for you to believe in your prayers. It's very important for you to believe in your prayers. Um, you need to understand for some of you, maybe you have started feeling like, you know, you, 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 uh, you know, your wishes, your prayers will, you know, are never answered. Maybe you, you have started feeling like, you know, uh, you, uh, whatever you ask for, whatever you wish for, you always get exactly the opposite. Now the question arises is, have you been somebody else or have you been trying to some, to be somebody else just to, uh, you know, just to get approval of the other people around you. Maybe that's the reason why things never lasted because you have to be yourself. You have to own yourself the way you are. And if you try to be somebody else, you will never sustain that, you know, you uh, that you pretended to be. If you are yourself, you will attract the people who would love you the way you are. You won't have to change yourself. Make sure that you understand what the lesson was there in that particular situation to from, for you to learn. So just, just know that. Evil energies are around you. I feel like, you know, if, if we talk about the evil energies, I would, I would call the people who you have been with, have been kind of, you know, evil for you. Why? Because 
Um, but again, you cannot blame another person, another situation. Uh, you allowed certain things to happen for yourself. You allowed that, you know, um, certain belief systems to, to uh, uh, you know, to make you do certain things, which you were never ready from your, from the uh, deepest, deepest depths of your heart. You allow those people to use you or to trick you or to, you know, to make you do things that you never wanted to do. So those energies basically turned in, uh, you know, against you for sure. And you really need to understand that you have to keep a distance from anyone who tries to control you or your life decisions. You really need to take stand for yourself in that, you know, in that situation as well. Let's see more cards here. It's time to take action. It's time for you to take action for yourself. Whatever you believe in, you really have to start doing that. Uh, but again, the action, I would I would suggest, you know, seeing these cards here, it's very important. The action that you, you need to take is to be yourself and you will attract the right kind of person when, uh, you know, uh, the one that you are meant to be with. You don't have to chase people. You don't have to be a certain you to attract the right kind of people. The right tribe, the right people, you will find when you are on the on your own individual journey. You don't have to be a specific someone to attract the love of your life. No, you don't have to chase love. You Love always finds you when you are being yourself and you are aligned with what you are destined to be doing in your life. You don't have to, um, you know, when you're pursuing your passion, you, when you are, you know, following your inner calling, that's when you attract the right tribe for yourself. That's when you meet the best, you know, people in your life. So just try to be yourself and take action. Take actions, the actions that you need to take here by letting go of or cutting those people out of your life that you need to cut off so you could have healthy minded people in your life who doesn't have evil in intentions for others neither for you as well uh work through your fears for some of you maybe you have been uh you know very fearful around being accepted by other people around you if that has been the case it's time for you to change that about yourself as well again maybe you have been doing certain things that you really need to break free from because you were doing certain things out of your fear maybe you were not ready to be yourself because you felt like maybe i would feel like you know out of uh uh, out of the league or something just try to understand that everybody is an individual a different individual everybody has their own strength and weaknesses if you are you know if maybe maybe if you are somebody who's very in you know um, maybe you have different skills maybe the people that you were trying to be a part of um, you know a certain group maybe they don't have the qualities that you have and because you are not owning those qualities you are lacking the goodness in your life. So just try to understand that. Uh, let's see the other cards now. Take back your power. Ooh. Yes, the people around you might have been controlling you lately. You really need to take the power back now. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. You have all the power that you need right now. But again, if you take the control back in your hands, only then you will be able to understand that you have the power. You are the magician of your own life. You can manifest. You can make anything happen in your life. You don't need any other person. It's just you that you need to bring your life uh you know, anything and everything that you desire to come in your life. So we do have a counselor. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. If you understand your your your, your uniqueness, you will see, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy that maybe you have been following the other people and their, you know, their opinions for so long. And you have always, you know, um, hit the rock bottom when you followed them. You always you know, failed in whatever you wanted to do because that that wasn't, you know, uh, what you wanted from deep within. You you wanted to do something else, but you chose to do what they told you to do, be that in love life, work life, home life situation. But it's time for you to understand what you are capable of and, you know, listen to your inner calling around it. You have the, you know, different, um you know, things to offer to the world. So just go with that. Um, let's see what other cards we have. Instinct. Your gut has been guiding you all this time. You have been neglecting that. You were letting the evil energies control you. Evil energies as and I don't see that there has been any black magic or something. But evil energies coming because of the evil minded people around you who told you to change yourself. Um, isolation. It's time for you to get isolated because I feel like you know you have a bigger you know uh, responsibility on your shoulder given by the God. Um, I feel like, you know, you have a lot more power that you even realize. And if you understand that, 
people are going to chase you you will be the leader in one way or the other i don't know what is it but i do see that you know as you isolate yourself the powers that you're gonna get from the universe is going to make you feel like you know um is, is gonna it's gonna make you understand what you're worthy of plus the people who have been you know telling you to do this and that don't do this and they will be like you know asking for your guidance with this card here they will be basically needing your guidance your uh your time your counseling you don't need them just listen to your higher self and you will you know be guided towards the right path forward um aqua experience peace and calm number 33 uh aqua color could be lucky for you or spending some time in the water is also going to be lucky for you lilac uh strengthen your faith number 42 strengthen your faith in yourself you don't have to be anybody else you just need to follow what you are being guided towards so yeah this pretty much it can go for you for this reading if the reading helped you in one way or the other if it uh, resonated with you as well just uh like share and subscribe and if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care Bye bye